Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today is Timu Craft Haul time. Um, I've got my April Timu Craft Haul here to show you. I have, I think it's 53 different items in this bag and I'm super excited to show you what I have picked up. As always with my craft hauls, I have already been through the bag. I've organized everything in terms of putting on the prices. I will pop in a link to my order in the description box. Please do bear in mind that one, this is for the UK. So it will link you to the UK team you site. If there's anything that you like in a different country, please just take a look. Um, work out what it's called what it looks like and then um head over to your country's team website to see if you can purchase it also the prices i give you are the prices i paid at the time they may have gone up they may have come back down some of these items may not even be available anymore um i have noticed that their packet postages postage and packaging has been really quick just recently so i i bought this I'm not sure like towards the end of march and we have had two bank holidays we've had the um good friday and easter monday and it's arrived today so i'm really impressed with it i've got lots to show you i've got a really exciting thing that i think for me is probably one of my most favorite things i've ever purchased from team um so i'm really excited to show you that but let's head into it so the first two things out of my bag because they are from the same listing is these two packs of papers they're called northern field flower mist um i got them in the two different colors so i've got like this bluey color and this purple color these were two pounds and eight pence i'm not sure how many you get this one had the bag could split already um ba -dum -dum. you get 50 sheets so you get 50 sheets in here i'm not sure if they're different or if you get the same colors i think you get the same colors so let's take a look at this one. Oh, oh i like that this is back to your traditional what i would call team you paper um i'll tell you what i am gonna do i'm just gonna in a little bit for you uh just to make it a bit easier because there's a lot of small things in here so we have one two three four five so it looks like you get five of each in ten different designs so you've got that one these are really pretty i do think that a lot of the teeny papers are quite pretty they just have like a a texture teeny texture something about them but i really like these really pretty so that's the first pack that is this like purple color up there and then this is like a blue green version So again, five of each in ten different designs. And there we go. Really pretty. I like those. They're not bad, 50 sheets for £2.8p, pretty good value to be fair. Um, I'm not sure what size they are actually, let's have a look, let's just take one. So they're roughly 5 inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches, so they're a fairly decent size as well actually. I know sometimes the teeny papers can be a bit on the smaller side, but that's a good size, that would fit on like a 5x5 five five card blank, no problems. Then... The next ones out of my bag are these. They're Mirror Flower Retro Vintage Materials. You get 30 in each packet. I did pick up five different colorways and we do have two different price points on this. So that one was £1.88 
that was 188 that was 188 this was 159 and this one was 159 so always be mindful when you're picking up from Tinu. you can get different price points um from the same like listing on there so you get 30 different sheets we get 10 different designs so we're going to get three of each they are loose in here so just be careful so let's take a look they're pretty some really nice colors in these a lot of these you'll find will be images we've seen before so like that i've definitely got that and that on like some of the butterfly books that i've picked up just trying to make sure i don't mix them up but they're nice i like the fact that they're shaped they've got that almost like framed edging around them i think they're really pretty I mean that really you wouldn't need much else on a card if you was using them for card making so that's nice they're a nice size as well so we have that packet i'm just going to pile everything up up there and then i'll put it away after i finish recording apologies for the crinkling as well unfortunately a lot of teeny stuff comes in the plastic packets and like this they're loose sheets and i just don't want to lose them so this one has like vintage ladies I don't think I've got any of these images actually which is nice they're very pretty I like those so they're like vintage ladies And then we have this one, which is in blue. Again, 30 pieces, 10 different designs. Oh, these have got birds. I instantly can see that that is a very pretty picture. The gorgeous blues. I think that's really pretty. Sorry, there was somebody at my door. These are such beautiful images. I don't think I've got many of these actually, like these images inside. I did have on that first packet, but I don't recognize any of these and they are really pretty. So that's that packet. It's time to fall over. Then these last two were slightly cheaper. So this one is like in yellows and appears to be like clock style. Like time pieces, we'll say. So we've got that image. Oh, I like that with the sunflowers actually. last one and then we have the other blue packet which appears to be all like space and uh just some sea and I, I do actually recognize that image again really pretty nice with the arm I've definitely seen that image or something very similar in one of my other books and that one so that is those ones I think they're really nice really nice I like the fact that they're already like fancy cut and got almost like a um 
um, oh, like a frame seat feel to them. Now, I made a mistake with this one. I've no idea how I've managed it. So as I was taking these out the bag, I thought, oh, there's a couple there that look exactly the same. I wonder what's happened. So I went back through my order and for some reason, and I really don't know how I've managed it. Apparently I ordered seven of the same thing. Um, yeah, no, I know. I don't know either. Um, but I did pick these up. I really liked them. We have two different price points again. Luckily, the one that I've picked up seven times was at the slightly cheaper price point. Um, but the blue ones were £2.67. Um, and then the yellow ones and these red ones were £1.87 each. They are like tea inspired. So afternoon tea in the garden. Um, you get 12 stickers. You get six different designs, two of each. And they look fairly decent sized stickers to be fair so we have that one but let me just grab a sheet of white card to put underneath this might make it a little bit easier so we've got that one so we've got two of those we've got this one it's got like a holographic foil on it i don't know if that's picking up actually but just on the petals i can just see like a holographic bit on it Two of those. We've got two of that one. Again, it's got that like holographic finish to it. We have two of that one. There is a holographic style to it. We have that one. And then we have that one. And they are quite a nice size compared to some of the two new stickers that you get. So that is the blue pack. Then we have the yellow packet. Again, same again, 12 stickers, six different designs, two of each. So we've got two of like the yellow wedding cake. We have two with the tea, the flowers, and like the bagels or donuts. We have two of the flowers in the teacup. Two of that one with the flowers in the teacup. And again, it's got that like holographic finish to it. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. We've got two of that one. And two of that one. There, there, I just caught it, I think. So that is the yellow. And then I've got seven packets of the pinky red. So let's hope they're as pretty as those ones. I will use them somewhere. It's entirely my fault for some reason. There must have been seven of them in my basket. I don't even know how I've managed to add that many in. I'm usually pretty good. So we've got two of that one. We have two of that one. We have two of that one. Again, they have that like holographic finish to them. We have two of the cake. We have two of the like wedding style cake. And then we have two of that one. They are really pretty. I'll use them somewhere. I'm sure. So that's those. Then sticking with the stickers, I picked up some of these. And they are all moon style holographic stickers. Uh, in lots of different colours and they all have slightly different names. So this one is the Stars and the Moon Dream, Moon Full Star River, the Shadow of the Moon, the Unifor Universe Throbs, Butterfly Dance Misty Moon, Moonlight Love Letter and the Sky and Star Fields. Uh, these were all the same price. These were all 167 um, and you get 20 stickers in here. Um, 10 different designs, two of each. So let's take a closer look at these. 
these are quite pretty these actually appear to have gold foiling as well so these have gold and holographic even better so and again they're a decent size sticker as well which is always good so we've got two of that one you see that holographic a lot we have two of that one with the cat in We have two with the butterflies and these have got the gold embossed foiling as well which is pretty well that one's nice i like that one we have two of that one with the light white moon on the back two of that one again super pretty two of that one We have two of these slightly smaller ones again with that like white moon behind two of that one that's a really big one you see the gold and then two of that one with the kitty in again i think they're so pretty so so pretty so that was the purpley color then we have the green and it looks like they're certainly if not exactly the same, they're very similar in imagery. So again, 10 different designs, two of each. So we've got that one. We have the kitten again, look. Lots of florals, lots of butterflies. Again, we've got that holographic and the gold foiling on these. can't get over the size a lot of the team you like pet stickers that i've picked up in the past have been a lot smaller these are really nice sized like that could be just a focal point on their own i mainly use my craft for card making so for a card maker that would make a gorgeous little topper on a nice small card i think these are beautiful that appears to have a bit of writing in the middle though i can't really read it and then we have that one. Super duper beautiful. So that's that packet. Then we have this beautiful pink packet. Trying to get them all out. and purples together just absolutely stunning kind of wish i'd have uh, picked up multiples of these to be fair because these are so pretty and i really could see some of these as just being cards on their own Gives me a good excuse to put another order in. Not that I need an excuse. Here we go. So that was the pinks. Then we have this pack, which is like yellows. is damaged look so the gold foiling on that one is kind of everywhere it looks like it's got smudged in uh production so i'm going to pop that one to one side it's only one sticker as long as all the others are okay then i'm okay with that though that one is also the same like we've, we appear to have some transfer on there so i'll put those ones over there uh that one however looks absolutely fine so we've got two of those we have two of those and this packet appears to be a dodgy packet so i might have to report that one 
I do have one of those okay by the looks of it. See how we go. There just seems to be like some missing foiling on some of these. That I didn't notice in any of those. There's that little kitty cat there. It's cute. I do like the kitty cat one. They are really pretty, especially the ones that look okay. It's always a risky take and you're going to get that anywhere. You can have dodgy production no matter where you buy anything from. So most of those are okay. There's just three that aren't really usable. So I'll have a think of that one. Pop these ones back in. These all appear to be okay. Then we have this like, red packet, ready orange. Starting off strong with that gorgeous kitten. We have that one. That one. We have that one. That one. How beautiful. Just look at that holographic shine. That one. There's that cute kitten again. And that one. We have the black and grey. Look at that, you can really see the moon in the background on that one. We have that one. That one. Just, I think these are so beautiful. Some of these are so big. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Look at that cat looking out to the moon. That is to the sky and the stars. Oh, that one. That one's really pretty. Probably one of my favourite images out of these. And then the last packet of these ones is the blue with the yellow. Is that kitten again? That one. That one. Look at that one. There's the little kitten. Look at that, that's huge. And then the last one is that image. I think they are really, really pretty. I actually really like I really, really like those. So that is that set of stickers. Then I did get quite a few dies. I didn't pick up any stamps this time, which is unusual for me, but I didn't. So let's take a quick look at some of these. So first off, I'll show you this. This is a stencil that I picked up. Um, it was £1.59. 
and it's got three stencils now it's a layering stencil but not one where you layer them on top of each other to build up like depth probably better get rid of that now actually um but it's one where you have the different shapes in the different places so like that's number one you've got the solid one that's number two so you could do it in different colors and they kind of overlap in some places and not in others i thought that'd be quite nice to make a background on um so you get three stencils i like the quality of their stencils i haven't had any issues with them a couple i've had that have turned up a little bit bent from packaging um but i found that if you just warm them up ever so slightly they do straighten back out so that was 159 for those i thought it was worth it then i picked up this it's a set of four little butterflies they've got like the cutout design in the middle so it makes them look almost like um buttons thought they'd be really nice to cut out some little scraps i could use my scraps from my cards it was only 48p i thought that was a bargain then i picked up four different ones of these i thought these were really nice they were 98 pence each they were all the same price and you can essentially cut out from a square piece of card um like this and it leaves you with this inner image so like this is a set of leaves um so the leaf bit would stay attached to your square and then you'd have this popped out I, I just thought it'd be nice to make something different on a card i then got the sunflower one so this one you can like puzzle piece together with some uh colored card stock i got the butterfly one and i got i think it's a tulip one so don't give those a go on one of my videos then i picked up this so these are it's like a cloud edge die so you can cut out these edges there's three different dies in here it was two pound 38 and it gives like a stitched effect as well which i quite liked so i've got those this is a set of stars so you get two four six eight different stars in different sizes again i'm thinking for like my scraps there's some times from my cards i get like little square pieces so i could just cut out these and use them on the cards 61 pence i didn't think i could go wrong really with that i picked up this star die i've got a circle die that's very similar that i quite think i think it's quite pretty i don't think i've actually used it it's only 88 pence i thought it was one worth picking up and putting in my stash then this is like a bookshelf so you've got like the books all the files and then you've got like a globe and then a little plant on the end i thought it looked quite nice it's actually bigger than i thought it was so that's a bonus um it was one pound 11p so yeah i thought that was pretty then i picked up a fairy i've got a fairy already but i've got a few paper pads and that that are like fairy inspired so i quite liked the look of this one i got that it was one pound 28 but i didn't think that was bad for a die then this is like a balloon edge die so it's designed to cut this bit out here so like the edging so it looks like balloons but you could also paper piece it together if you cut these out in different colours as well. It was £2.48, but I quite liked the look of that. And I thought, actually, that's big enough to fit straight on a card, just as is. Maybe paper piece in those, and then a nice happy birthday sentiment. That's all you really need on that. And then another paper piece die. Very similar again. So... Uh, again i'm thinking scraps i've got a really big tub of scraps and i don't always know what to do with it i am trying to do some scrap busting cards but i figured this would be another easy way to use up those so i could um cut out the edge this bit in say a miri a gold or a silver miri or something then i can cut out these pieces with my scraps and then you'd have say the y or if you put it on like a colored card stock on the edge or you could paper piece just disregard that bit and just paper piece that if you wanted 
this was £2.55. But again, I'm thinking about how much I'm going to be able to use that and be able to make cards. It's quite a nice size panel. So it's just over four inches by just under six. Yeah, it's between six and six and a half. So um, I think that's quite a nice size to be able to put onto a card blank. I think that's all my dies. Then I picked up two of these mixers. I've been picking up a few of these like half pearl rhinestone mixers. They were £1.87 each. I think it said you get, I want to say 1,100 pieces in here. I think that's what it said on the listing. But I really liked them for my shaker mixers and for actually attaching to some of my cards. So this mix here has all pinks and blues. So we've got like, some really nice big size ones. We've got the pink, we've got the blue, we've got the white, we've got like the smaller ones that kind of go down in sizes. And then you've got some of these very small like uh, AB style rhinestones as well. So I thought that was a nice mix. those back in there I will put these in some tubs and then I got the same again but this is like a pink and purple mix so again you've got the white the like purpley color lilac color and the pink and you've got them in different sizes and again you've got those same little um rhinestones so put those up to give them a go they'll need some glue on the back if i'm going to stick them to my cards but even when i buy the self adhesive ones i still put a little bit of glue on just to make sure they're stuck down properly anyway so that's not an issue to me then i'm going to bring this back i've got some washi tape and then i've got the final really exciting thing to show you um i'm so excited about that one let's bring this washi tape forward a little bit i've got a few i haven't i have been picking up washi tape but i haven't picked up a huge amount and i've actually got a few different styles in this one certainly different to me um i'm going to show you the first one i've got something similar to this so i picked up again from Timu, but it was a f quite a few Timu hauls ago now a set of these like shaped edged butterfly washi tape but they had like a burnt vintagey tone to them along the edge and if i'm honest i haven't used them a huge amount i have picked them up a couple of times but because they have that burnt edge in it just doesn't seem to match the cards i've made but i found these ones and these ones are the same edge they're the same like flower garden butterfly but they don't have that burnt coloration to them so were these all the, i think these were all the same price i think these were all 169 um i believe it says you've got two meters on here i think it's two meters don't quote me on that i think it's two meters but i picked up all the different colors that they had in them so let's take a look These do have their own individual backing. So let me just move those out of the way. So this is the first one. So repeating pattern. I think that's quite pretty. I just feel like these are going to be easier to blend onto my cards. I will use the others as well eventually. They're just not as easy to use. Not for what I want them for anyway. And I love this one. I think this one, just the colourway of it, is really pretty. This is all blues and yellows. Look at that. How pretty is that? Then we've got this one. I 
this one I think gives me like very vintagey vibes. So those muted down um, browns and oranges. There is the yellows and blues as well, but very autumny, I think, for that one. And we've got this one. Stuck together now with that. Again, very muted tones on this one as well. Just think it's so so pretty. And I love the fact that they've given it like a shaped edge as well. I'm glad they've changed their tape, or at least this company has. Because a few of them I've had, they've had like clear tape stick to stick them down on. And it's damaged my washi tape when I've tried to peel it off. That's really pretty. That one's that one to me feels spring. It's those nice, bright, fresh colours, isn't it? So we've got that one. And then one last one of these to open. This one's very green. And there we go. Again, still really, really pretty. It's just very, very green, that one. But would still match with lots of cards. So that's these. I like those a lot. Then this is a PET washi tape. This one was just 88 pence. I believe it's got words on it. So look. Happy Memories Time Manuscript Series. Um just think you can see any information on it. So this one is two meters work it out it's actually got a pull tab on it somewhere i can see the perforation just can't see where i can get into it there we go So this one is clear. There's the sticker on it, so it must have its own backing. And it's just got lots of different sayings. There's quite a few. So especially for you, um, of all the blessings, I prefer as you wish. It's got like notes on it. It looks like somebody's like handwritten them. Good day. Perfection, love always, made with love, dream, best wishes, shine bright, beautiful, happiness. And then we're back to especially for you. So there's quite a decent um, repeating pattern on that. It's quite nice. We'll probably work as maybe like a backing, maybe make it into a background or something. Or like cut out the specific words that I need. That back on there. But yeah, I like that. Not bad. Then these two were from the same listing, I believe. These are wider tapes. Again, there's two meters on here. These ones were one pound eighty-seven, and I wanted some more like bigger images. Can't get into this. Scissors. 
I can't, I'm not sure if these are pre-cut or if I'd need to cut these out to use them. It's quite sticky tape. No, it hasn't damaged it, so we're all right. So I just thought these were really pretty images. They seem to have some sort of like shiny embossing on them. So we've got like the doors, we've got the paths, we've got like the little garden images, gates. And all I thought was these are so pretty. They do seem to have some sort of like embossing on them. I really like them and I've seen quite a few people using these style of washi tapes. Um, and I have been like, ooh, just going to put a little piece off. Um, so that's that one. And this is similar, as I say, it's from the same listing. Go straight with the scissors. Again, just £1.87, which I, I think is pretty good. So exactly the same, it's just lots of my really nice images, so some of them are little, some of them are bigger, like bits from the garden lot, garden fences, little houses, oh, I like that, really like that little bench there, oh, that's so beautiful, that's pretty as well, like that would be really good for a card, and then I think we've got round to the start aren't we, yeah. So again, I'm going to try and cut into those. They're definitely ones that need to be cut into. I just thought they'd be so nice to put on. And then, for similar reasons, again, these are the same. These are like scenery style ones. These are from a different listing. Uh, these were 187. Yeah, 187. Pretty sure these are from a different listing. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just packaged differently. Once you get into those packets, they're actually um, packaged the same, so maybe they are exactly the same, they are from the same listing. So again, gorgeous little images. Is that the same as that one? I think it is, isn't it? I don't think they were in the same listing because this one's exactly the same as that one but it was listed different on the um, invoice yeah it's exactly the same as that one I think they're from I think they're the same item but from a different listing so that is a duplicate it's okay I like them they're pretty is this one also? That's also a duplicate, isn't it? That's exactly the same as that one. So I've got two of those. These ones different. I haven't done very well on this order, have I? Hi, hi, hi. Do you know what? I, I, I know what it is. I know what the problem is. Throughout the month, I go on Team U and I add things to my basket that I think look really pretty. And if it doesn't come up to say that there's one already in my basket, I just add it without actually checking. And then when it comes to me checking out, I go through what's in my um, basket just to the point of how much can I afford. Because I try not to spend too much on Team U. I know it's really hard, but my basket will be worth like over £100. And most months I, I don't have anywhere near that to spend. 
so I'll just go through and be like yep I like that yep that's good value yep that's good price so if they weren't in my basket in the same thing I've probably just not even looked but this one's different this one's all to me and I like this again I think that's really pretty cut those out I think they'll be beautiful and then I think we're down to my most exciting bit and I don't know if I really want to tell you what I've picked up <laughs> only because I actually really really like it and I don't want everyone to go and buy them all so um I've ended up with a duplicate on this but there is a very good reason for why I've ended up with a duplicate and I think this is going to be really good for I think it's going to be good for anybody but I think that this is going to be really really good for people who love hunky dory products and especially if you've seen their pocket pads because these actually fit the pocket pads absolutely perfectly and i have already tried it and um, i'm going to show you the effect that it has on them so i've not seen these before so some people may already have them you may have seen them and think oh my god what is she talking about but i haven't and I've fallen in love with them, if I'm honest. So, I found these. And they're not, they don't look like much, I must admit, on camera. Um, they are all different prices. I've got two exactly the same. I've got one slightly different. These are packs of 50 sheets of holographic tape, I guess. Holographic covering. I've never seen these before. So I have a pack of 50 sheets that have holographic stars on them. I'm not convinced that they are showing up. Let's try and get one out. Holographic stars. And then I've got two sheets of like holographic, I don't know, circles scales whatever whatever you can call them now I, I did pay different prices for them so the stars were 50 sheets for £2.98 I then have a pack of these that were down to th that were £3.49 again 50 sheets and then I went on to my Teamu account and you have like a promotions and coupons thing where they're always sending you like emails, messages to say you can get a discount off. And I clicked on it and that particular one was that you could get up to so much off a product. Here's a list of all the products that you can have it off of. And I knew I'd got these already in my basket. So I clicked on this and got it down to £1.4p. I didn't realise that it added an extra one to your basket. So I ended up with two of these. But I absolutely love them. So, hunky dory. And there will be other places and you can use these on whatever. But these are just the perfect size for this. So, hunky dory do what's called a pocket pad. They have the pocket pads that are coloured. Then they have say it with style pads that look like this that are um white that you can ink up yourself and they've just recently brought out some say it with style pocket pads that are um colored as well now i've got quite a few of them i really really like them they're super pretty i haven't used them much though and as soon as i opened and saw this i thought oh my god they're the perfect size they fit absolutely perfectly so I took an Im image, a random image, I took this one because I thought this was super duper pretty. So this is the image as it is in the book, absolutely gorgeous, love it. I've taken one of the circle um, sticker holographic sheets and I've added it to that pocket pad sheet. How stunning does that look? I absolutely love that it's a beautiful image already but adding that on they fit perfectly I think I trimmed off like maybe a millimeter if that there was hardly any excess whatsoever these will work with lots of things it's got like a really smooth um feel to it it doesn't appear to be peeling off this very easily 
and they these do have like a a silk finish to them i'm in love i i, I very nearly didn't show you guys this i really was going to keep this to myself because i think i am going to have to go back and get some more of them because i've got a lot of the hunky dory pocket pads and i think that just takes that image from beautiful to stunning i cannot get over how beautiful that is and really for the price it's not that bad like i'd happily pay three pound fifty for another 50 sheets of these to be able to make some of my images look like this and you can use them on anything like you could add these on to like the washi tapes and cut those images out you could add these on to already made toppers to your papers you can add them to make backgrounds they are small so they're 4.1 inches by 2.9 inches which as i say fits this perfectly but you can definitely purpose them for lots of different things on the images for this it shows like stickers um you can see it's shiny but i, I just I, I cannot get over how beautiful this has made this image look i cannot wait to get this onto a card um and that is everything that i picked up from teeny this time as i say i will link in the description box the um order I did have a £30 discount code, um, so my order originally came to like, I think it was about £90, but I did have a £30 discount code off. I also had some price adjustments from my last couple of orders, so I saved a little bit of money there as well. So my order did come right down, but there's some beautiful items in this. I absolutely love it these aren't my favorite please don't go and run and buy them all i need to get some more um thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you've enjoyed this video as always with my two new hauls i really like to show you exactly what you're going to get so that you can see what you're getting there's nothing worse than just looking at the pictures and not knowing what they're going to look like if you have enjoyed this and you're not already a subscriber please do hit that subscribe button it really does help our channel I have lots of other Team U hauls on my channel as well, as well as lots of other crafting hauls as well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.